So a question I get asked is, can you do an outside leg if you can't straddle yet? So the answer is definitely yes. There's two different solutions to this. The first one is if you can't straddle, but you can crucifix, so just put your legs onto the invert without the straddle or the chopper first, then you can get your crucifix to turn into an outside leg. It's a little bit trickier than going straight from the straddle. Uh, it's definitely uh, got a bit more work to it, but it can be done. The second way is if you aren't inverting at all, you're choosing not to invert for a certain combo, you can get your outside leg up in the air if you learn how to do what I call, I call it a showgirl from the ground, but a lot of places are going to call it a Gemini or a half star or something like that. So in this part of the video, I'm going to show you how I teach the crucifix to outside leg on the floor. Again, I'm happy for you to try any of these drills on the floor, but if you're going to try them at the pole, then make sure you're working with an actual instructor and not learning from a video. So how I do it, I'll show you a couple of different angles. For my crucifix, I'm going to get onto the ground. And we're going to do our crisp fix on the floor. So again, I'm on the ground, outside hand on top. I'm going to be pulling through my arms the whole time, even though I'm on the floor. I'm going to shoot my legs and my hips straight up into the ceiling. So make sure with that crucifix, outside leg goes on top, matches the hands. So tucking into a ball and then pull and shoot. Okay, so this is our crucifix position. From here, we're going to leave our hands on because uh, I'm going to assume if you're doing it this way that you're more beginner. I'm going to leave our hands on. I want to straighten my top leg, but I have to keep my knee squeezing. So this is where it's really important that your crucifix is actually a really good technique. So keep my knee squeezing, straighten this leg, and then I'm going to try to turn the back of my knee towards the pole a bit more. So keep pulling through your hands, turn that top leg, and then I'm going to start to bend it. As I start to bend it, this back one's going to come off. So the first few times you do this, you're probably not going to get it anywhere close to the back of your knee. That's why we're leaving our hands on for that entire duration. But you can see I get a little bit of squeeze. I can take my hands off. It doesn't feel as secure as if I had entered through a straddle. But, you know, then again, I'm normally entering through a straddle. I'm just not used to doing it this way. You can definitely get a good hook uh, if you practice this enough. So I've got my foot below my knee. My knee is squeezing. Back leg is straight and turned out. Back is arched. To get out, uh, pretend I didn't take my hands off. Hands would still be on if we were up the pole. And then I'm just going to take the back leg back up and shoot my hips back up so that my knees are back on into a crucifix. And then I exit in some safe way that I already know how to exit. If I turn around uh, and just demo from this lovely angle, I'm going to have the pole right up in my armpit. So always start your ground inverts. With the pole up in your armpit, pulling through my arms. I'm going to tuck my knees up, shoot up my legs, get onto that crucifix. Outside leg needs to be on top. So shoot up nice and high. I want as high as possible, no hand tracking, especially when you're practicing on the floor. Straighten your top leg and turn it. So it turns so the knee comes out away from the pole. As that starts to bend, back one pushes down for the floor. So make sure that back leg is straight. That back leg is pushing down for the floor. This foot is squeezing down for the floor. You can check to see how good your grip is. And then shoot it back up and slide on down. All right. Let's do one more angle just in case. Never quite sure the uh, best way. So this is uh, the same leg, just filmed from the other side. So if I'm on the same side as my camera, I'm going to pull. Shoot my hips up. This leg is going to straighten and turn. So I want the back of my knee to get as close to the pole as possible. Turn, try to get the back of your knee to the pole. Both go down. Check it. Make sure your foot is below your knee. Never ever take your hands off in an outside leg if your foot is up above your knee. Uh, just trust me, just don't. So make sure your foot is squeezing below your knee. Back leg is straight, slightly turned out. To get out, shoot the legs back up, crucifix, make sure your hands are free to come off and then come out in whatever safe way you've been taught to come out. 
Okay, so if you can do a crucifix, but you cannot do a straddle, that is one option for getting into an outside leg.